Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So we decided to start a series of vlogs and the reason is that we got a puppy. Actually we got him around six weeks ago but only now we found the time to start recording. Uh, he is a toy poodle so when he grows he won't be big of a size. When we got him he was around uh, five or six weeks old so now we are around two months and few weeks. And today we were planning to have amazing shoot outside our house near the lake but I, I, unfortunately we couldn't do that due to nature, mother nature. There were so many birds talking outside so we decided to change our location and instead we had a very short walk for our Archie which he definitely enjoyed. He's so tired now, look at him, but he's so happy and I'm happy that he's happy. Yeah, my friend? One thing you have to be aware of before you plan to take a puppy is actually scammers. There are a lot of them currently in the market because you know due to COVID most of the people losing their jobs. Uh, I personally myself faced around two scammers. So the best thing to avoid and make sure that your money uh, protected is to organize a simple video call. It can be either through Google Meet or maybe Zoom call or even as simple as WhatsApp in order to see the person face to face if you can't travel due to the MCO restrictions and also to see the puppy whether he is as described in the ad and so on. Uh, we got our pup from the breeder in Kedah and basically how the system works is that you pay deposit first for your pup and then you pay the rest full amount once you get the puppy. Uh, and that is basically the scheme which scammers use. They ask you to pay the deposit and then they disappear. But thanks God that I managed to catch them before I paid any deposit to them because I always request for any uh, video calls or anything where, yes, good boy. So I could see the puppy in real life and after that the scammers disappeared, yeah. So we are quite happy with our breeder because our Archie is healthy, strong and very playful. However, we are still fighting with some of his bad habits but I'm pretty sure that it will be gone by soon. But maybe when he's five months or six months old, is biting and nipping. And if I read in all the articles and videos, I understood that that's actually quite of a normal thing puppies have. So we just have to deal with it somehow. <laughs> Another important thing you have to take into consideration is actually the budget. I mean, apart from price for pup, hey, what are you doing? Uh, you have to factor in the crate, uh, V-pads, um, food and all other expenses, especially pay attention to toys. But I guess I will make a separate video on that uh, to explain you what kind of toys you should get for the pup and what kind of toys you can actually just throw away or DIY. Yes, he is so happy now. Okay guys, follow my channel, put likes and leave comments with your advices on what should I pay attention to when I'm going to have a puppy. I will be reading them all and thank you so much for your attention. We are going to see you very very soon. Yes, yes you are my little pup. <laughs>